Number 20. What is the effective resistance of a car's starter motor when 150 amps flows through it and the car battery applies 11 volts to the motor? So first of all, effective resistance, just forget about the word effective, just focus on the word resistance. It's, it is essentially the same thing. If you want a brief description of it, take, uh, take a look at number 19. I just went through it, all right? So here, resistance is question mark. We don't know what it is. The current here is going to be 150 amps. And the voltage, they told us, is going to be 11.0 volts. What's the relationship between these three variables? Ah, Ohm's law. This will become ingrained within you by the end of um, our work here. And I started writing it down wrong because I'm talking. And, okay, I promise. Actually, I, I memorize it this way. V is equal to IR. But I know you're probably going to see it in this form. Uh, this way, it's a little easier for me to memorize personally. It's VIR. Anyway. The formulas are also over here on the right-hand side. And um, I'm sure you've noticed that by now. Anyway, I gotta find, I gotta solve this bad boy for R. So the, I have to cross multiply it on out. So literally just bring it on up and then bring the I on down. Right, we've seen this many, many times. It's so easy, makes algebraic manipulations a lot faster. The V value, the voltage is 11. The current is 150 and literally voila. Let's do it, 11 divided by 150. And this will work out to be 0 0.073333333. Ohms. I'm, so, I'm partially losing my mind. So I, uh, you're witnessing, you're witnessing the deterioration of someone's mind as you watch my videos. Uh, okay. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to please help subscribe, hit the like button, and even give our name to your classmates. Thank you.